Welcome to the Kitsap County Assessor's Office walkthrough video for the Senior Citizen or Disabled Person's Property Tax Exemption application. Have these items with you before you begin. Your driver's license or Washington State ID card, a copy of your Social Security Disability Award Letter or VA Disability Award Letter if applicable, or a signed physician statement if neither of these documents are available, the date you purchased and or occupied the residence, a copy of your IRS 1040 tax return if you file taxes with the IRS, and all additional schedules if applicable. You will also need all year-end statements from all income sources, including 1099-Rs for pensions or annuities, SSA 1099s for Social Security benefits, or W-2s for wages. You can also attach verification of out-of-pocket medical expenses to potentially be deducted during our calculation, as well as bank statements to replace any year-end statements you were unable to locate prior to beginning this application. On the property tax exemption page where you found this video, take some time to review the qualification requirements before moving forward. If you have questions after reviewing this page, please reach out to our office for clarification. If you have read the qualification details and feel confident moving forward with the application, select New Application on the right side of the page. Review this introduction page to ensure you have gathered the correct documentation and are ready to move forward with the application. Keep in mind that you can save this application and return to it at any time by clicking the Save button at the bottom right of each screen. You'll begin with the Basic Qualifications page. Did you own and live in your home for at least six months last year? If the answer is no, you will not be eligible for this tax relief program this year. If the answer is yes, let's move forward. Was your gross income $65,000 or less last year after any medical-related deductions you intend to include with your application? If the answer is no, you will not be eligible to this tax relief program this year. If the answer is yes, Let's move forward to the age or disability requirement. If you are 61 or older as of December 31st last year, no additional documentation will be needed. If you are selecting any other option, remember to include the applicable verification. You will need to complete these required fields on the following applicant information page, and remember that if your marital status is married or registered domestic partnership, you will be submitting documentation for both of you. You will need to complete these required fields on the Ownership and Occupancy page. Complete these required fields regarding your property description. It is not required to determine the parcel number to submit this application, but you can select the link below the text field and search for your home by address if you would like to include this on your application. Answer these questions carefully and be prepared to attach the applicable documentation at the conclusion of this application process. Please take a moment to review this document uploads page. The requested documents on this page are based on the responses you provided throughout the previous screens. If you uploaded these documents to a particular file on your computer, you can select Upload and attach the applicable documentation. After you have uploaded the required files, you can confirm this worked correctly by checking for text similar to what you see on screen. Once this step is complete, we can move on to the next screen. Review this final page carefully and sign at the bottom to certify your application. Just another reminder that if you still need to gather additional verifications, you can save your application and return to it at any time. Once you do submit your application, you will see text confirming it has been received and a copy of this message will be sent to your email address you provided if applicable. Submitting online expedites the application process, allowing us to determine your eligibility to the exemption more quickly. This concludes this walkthrough video. Thank you.